this is Mari Lane on the Buying Space channel. Today I'm reading the verse of the day from Psalms chapter 41, starting in verse 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in times of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth, and they will not deliver him unto the will of his enemy. I see two things here. The Bible is telling us to practice charity. And I also see that if you have a walk with God to where you have an open and giving heart that God will protect you if you have a close walk with God you'll be protected from the will of your enemy there are many many people in this life it's all over social media that people are gleeful when others are harmed People go out of their way to make videos and make claims against people when they're not necessarily true. They put them in these situations on purpose. So they're creating the evil. I have no um, problem with people uncovering evil. I do have a problem with entrapment of people or making a situation into something that's not. Yes, go out, pursue evil, film it, put it on the internet. That's perfectly fine. But don't walk around trying to intentionally snare people up in situations or being fake about what really happened and ruining good people's lives. There's a difference. So, if you have a kind, loving, giving heart, and you want to see justice done, and you want to see hatred go away, there's a way to approach that situation. You're supposed to be loving and generous and kind to everyone. Even those who hate us. So, yeah, expose what is really there, but don't entrap anyone that's just going about their day and being innocent. Don't try to trigger anyone. If somebody's already triggered, I understand. I understand completely. Have a close walk with God. And the Holy Spirit will guide you as to what is out there and what needs to be done. We have to be warriors for God. Not for likes. Not for subscribers. But warriors for God. Don't make social media your God. God is God. And let's follow His rules. And let's do things honestly. But we are still to fight those battles absolutely but do it in the right way and remember that person that's being hateful they have a soul too God loves them too God doesn't love what they're doing but God loves them too so let's follow up or let's when we're engaging that person let's let them know that God loves them and that he doesn't want them to be hateful. And see what response you can get. Maybe even witness to that person that's being awful. See what response you get. Maybe they'll soften up. You never know. Miracles can happen. You could change a hateful person into a loving person. If you approach it the right way. So let's go forth with education and the knowledge of God with us and be led by the Holy Spirit when we encounter people that are hateful. Let's see if we can turn them around. 
and that would make the world, the world a better place. But gouging them, purposely trying to trigger them, and lying about the situation, when there's already enough warranted information to record and discuss what is going on, but let's approach those people as if we want to convert them, not only to Christianity, but love in general. And let's see how that works. Let's be charitable in our spirit. Now we should also be charitable with our pocketbooks to the poor, but we should also be charitable in how we do things and in our spirit to help people. People that are spiritually poor, that are full of hate. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.